Welcome to the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast, where you'll learn the secret sauce, what it really takes to build a thriving mortgage business doing what you love, without relying on cold calling or annoying realtors. And now, let's join your host, Doran Aldana. Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here, coming at you with another kick-ass episode. And today, we're going to talk about how to get three deals for every 100 past clients in your past client database. If you don't already have a database, we're going to give you future pacing into the riches that you can build out of your own database as it grows. And for those of you veterans who've been in the game for several years and you already have a database of 100, 500, maybe 1,000 plus past clients, you're going to have the bittersweet of the kick in the proverbial nuts or ovaries, knowing how much money you're leaving on the table. It's called positive perturbance. It's the pain that hopefully will get you to do the strain to get the gain because without no strain, there is no gain. And to hopefully smack you upside the head with a two by four to wake you up, to get you to realize how much money you're leaving on the table in your database. And more importantly, how to fix that problem once and for all so that once you gain mastery over this process, you can literally be getting two, three, four deals plus per month for every 100 past clients in the form of repeat and referral business. I call that black belt level database marketing. And that's precisely the level we get our clients to operate using our systems and our coaching. So that being said, the first thing I want to mention to you is the premise of this training today is that your database is and always will be your most valuable asset. It's not your office. It's not your computers. It's not even, frankly, your data with contact information. Most people think that the asset is in the data. No, it's not in the data. The asset is in your ability to monetize the data. So let's not get things twisted. Just because you're exporting the data with name, email, phone number doesn't mean you have any revenue there, does it? The only thing that generates revenue from that list is knowing the secret sauce on how to monetize that list, how to cultivate those relationships, how to maximize repeat and referral business from that asset. So it's actually not truly an asset. It's a potential asset. The only thing that allows you to actually draw revenue from that potential asset and turn it into a real bona fide asset that you would, you can sell that makes your company, your portfolio, your book of business 3x, 5x, 10x more valuable if and when you sell it is in your systems, the systems that allow you to monetize that list of prospects, clients, and referral partners. Does that make sense, guys? So your database and your ability to monetize it is and always will be your most valuable asset. Now, some of you might be thinking, Doran, why do we even need to talk about this? My company provides me with a CRM that has all the campaigns and has all the emails and all the autoresponders and everything's done for me, Doran. Why do you even bother talking about this? I'm talking about it because cookie cutter crap ain't going to cut it. You know it and I know it because let's be real. The cookie cutter crap from your company is getting you what you've been getting. And if you're happy getting what you've been getting and doing what you've been doing, then by all means, tune out, turn the volume down or change the channel. But if you realize, and it won't take you long to notice if you've been in this game any period of time, that the cookie cutter crap from your company ain't going to cut it, then you start to realize, okay, what will cut it? You start to realize that your company is not going to blast you into the stratosphere, getting you making half a million plus per year. They're just not. They would love you to. They'd love to support you in that, but they can't give that which they don't have. Their job is to give you a place to hang a license, to give you the leadership, the support, the guidance on knowing the regulations and making sure you find a home for the loan and making sure they can help you navigate through the operational component of getting the deal done and providing great rate, you know, supporting you to provide great rates and great service and a competitive offering to your marketplace. But chances are they're not going to give you the secret sauce on how to maximize repeat and referral business from your database. That's just not their gig. That's not their wheelhouse. That's not their superpower. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, you're not going to squeeze water out of a rock. You're not going to get a bunny to fly. It ain't just, it just ain't going to happen. Why? As good old Jim Rohn would often say, I wouldn't sign up for that class. It's just the way it is. Don't ask why the sky is blue. 
I wouldn't sign up for that class. It's just the way it is. It's the way God created it. But what you do want to ask yourself is how can I gain that muscle? How can I gain that skill set? How can I gain that marketing sophistication? How can I get a leg up instead of having to mess around doing it the hard way? How can I get access to the recipe, the formula, the system, so I don't have to bang my head against the wall doing it the hard way? I can just go straight to what works because I do know what doesn't work. Cookie cutter crap, right? The snoring, boring, Dullsville. It's just like really boring to read. You read it, you're like, man, I'm going to sleep. Now, that's great if your clients, prospects, and realtors are complaining about insomnia problems, right? Then that'll help them fix that problem real quick. Some of your companies cookie cutter crap emails and they'll start to have their eyeballs roll into the back of their cranium and they'll slip into a coma in a few nanoseconds. But if you're actually wanting to get attention, keep attention, fascinate, educate, inspire, motivate, and get the phone ringing with more prospects, clients, and partners, then you definitely got to up level from just selling from the cookie cutter crap your company provides. And if you've had any time using the pre-done campaigns that your company provides, you know that to be true because you'll send out hundreds, maybe even thousands of those emails and hardly anything back, every, anything comes back. And if you are getting something come back, you're not getting three deals for every 100 past clients. You maybe get one deal every two, three, four months for every 100 past clients. So that's where we want to up-level your game. That's why we want to take you from the minor leagues, leagues to the major leagues. We want to take you from having a little muscle to a lot of muscle. We want to Schwarzenegger this bad boy and really get you muscular in your marketing. So how do you do that? Well, you need systems. You need systems. The word system is an acronym. It means save yourself time, energy, money, and stress, systems. So the beautiful thing about systems is they work while you're not working. They work while you're sleeping. They work on autopilot. They allow you to have a business that sets you free as opposed to enslaves you. So that's what you want is you want systems that work your database, that cultivate it, that engage it, that tenderize it, that get them hot for what you got and pre-cooked and pre-tenderized and predisposed to want to either A, send you more repeat business, B, do some more refinance business, C, if you're in Canada, do renewal business, or D, doing more referral business. In other words, them sending you friends and family. And that's the big part that's often overlooked is the referral component. You might be thinking, Dora, I'm already making money hand over fist with these crazy low re rates. I don't need to mine the gold from my data set, database anymore. I'm already doing great. Yes, that's awesome. Praise the progress. And how many deals did you get last month from referral from your happy clients? Chances are not nearly enough. True? Because getting repeat and refi business is very different than getting referral business. But if you think about it, that's how you take your monetization of your database to a whole other level because all those people in your database know people who know people who need a mortgage, people who are thinking about buying, people are thinking about refinancing, people who are revenue property buyers who are always looking for access to capital, people who are renting, who should be owning. So these people know people and they should be working with you. They know people and they're having to settle for substandard solutions because you don't have a system to get those referrals. So don't think for a nanosecond that this, that this does not apply to you. It indeed does. And the more you go from dabbling in this area of mortgage mastery to mastery, where you're able to go from yellow belt to green belt to black belt in your prowess and sophistication in extracting the gold from your database, the more you're able to earn more while working less. And the great thing about that is these deals are hot for what you got. They're pre-tenderized, they're predisposed to buy, they're not shopping you, they're more likely to refer you to other friends and family, they're more likely to do more repeat and referral business, and they come at virtually zero cost. Because chances are, you already paid, if you're doing paid advertising, to acquire the initial client. So why not get an endless stream of additional transactions where one deal begets another deal, begets another deal, 
and it costs you no additional cost to acquire those clients. It's all by referral. Zero cost means maximum profit. Boost your profit through the roof, right? So why not have systems to do that? That's what we're talking about today. But you're not going to have systems to do that if this is just a mere luxury. It needs to be an absolute must commitment. Top producers make it a must. Not someday, but right here, right now, starting today. The next thing you want to be cognizant of is that you want to get reviews after closing. So you need a system to be able to automate that process. And if you're settling for substandard solutions that make the client retype the review a second time all over again from scratch in order to get it on, onto Google, that's not going to help much. A lot of people are settling for company-provided solutions that don't allow them to actually get maximum reviews on the review sites that matter, like Google. So they're getting a bunch of reviews, but that doesn't amount to a hill of beans if it's not actually showing up on Google. That's what people are looking on. People are searching every single day in your market for a mortgage provider, a reputable mortgage provider. And if you're not showing up on the top of Google with more five-star reviews than any of your competitors, you're leaving a shit ton of money on the table to your competitors. So you want to get reviews and you want an automated process to get those reviews from your happy clients. The reason for that is number one, you want to dominate on Google on the local search. Number two, you also want to be able to turn those reviews into referrals. Because think about it. Who better to send you a referral than somebody who just gave you a five-star review, right? Those are your happy clients. Those are your potential evangelists. Those are the best source of clients ever. And yet, how many people actually have a system to turn their happy clients into referrals? How many people have a system to not just get the review, but then turn that review into an endless chain of red hot referrals? Chances are nada, zilch, nothing. Why? Because you lack the system for it, right? It's not that you don't have the desire for it. You just don't have the system for it. And then you get caught up in the minutia doing, you know, putting out fires and doing loan level issue stuff. Next thing you know, days turn into weeks, weeks turn into months, and you're working in your business, not on your business. And you realize, wow, I didn't get referrals from hardly anybody. I get a referral from my happy clients, maybe one out of 10, maybe one out of 20. I, pe- I could be getting a lot more. I get referrals from my realtors, but my clients, not so much. There's a treasure trove of opportunity in there, folks. You should be smiling from ear to ear right now when you start to do the math, the money math in your head, crunching the numbers. If we can get you from one referral for every 20 clients to one referral every two clients, one referral every three clients, one referral every four clients, chances are that can double your business, triple your business just by doing that alone. True? So that's how we get you working smarter, not harder. It's not about putting in more time. It's getting more from the time you're already putting in and building a true business, not a glorified job trading time for money as a chief cook and bottle washer wearing all the hats with an office ball and chain around your ankle. That's called a J-O-B, just over broke. You don't want a J-O-B. You want a business that sets you free. True? So that's why we need these systems in place. Yeah, Shane said, yeah, cookie cutter stuff. How long before the vegan client unsubscribes because they keep dripping barbecue recipes, right? So just giving them this company provided cookie cutter crap ain't going to cut it. And you guys, I know are intelligent. You intuitively know that to be true. So what I'm preaching to you today is the antidote to cure that which ails you, friends. Now let's talk about trigger campaigns for a moment. Trigger campaigns. So what are trigger campaigns? Trigger campaigns are campaigns that are triggered when certain milestones are hit in the client life cycle. So in other words, there's different stages in the client life cycle from lead to app to pre-approval to closing to their first 30 days after closing to their annual mortgage anniversary date, their birthday date, and so on. And all those are triggers for certain campaigns you can launch. But if you don't have those trigger campaigns in place, all those opportunities are lost to make an impact, to wow them, to exceed their expectations, to delight them, to make them feel warm and fuzzy, to have them feel like you have them 
be seen as special, to have them feel like you really care. See, if you don't have trigger campaigns that do that systematically, every single closing, you're leaving a ton of money on the table because you just get seen as a mortgage hawker who provides a great experience and a great service. But then how are you staying in touch? How are you wowing them? You don't get referrals just for meeting expectations. You get, you get referrals for exceeding expectations. What's your plan, your systematic plan for exceeding expectations? If you don't have that plan, you're planning to fail. You're planning to be a replaceable commodity. You're planning to just be a Joe Schmo average LO. You're planning to just be someone who can be replaced by some alternative lender because there's nothing that unique about you aside from the fact that you provided an okay experience, you provided a loan that closed on time, and you provided a competitive rate. Well, is that really that irreplaceable? I submit to you, no. It is not irreplaceable because now if you're not cultivating that relationship with trigger campaigns and everything we're talking about today, what happens is they're very prone to get poached by competitors. People, generally speaking, are not very loyal. They're looking out for themselves and their best interest. And if you don't build that super glue connection to have them stick to you like super glue, they're going to get poached by your competitors who have that bright, shiny object, who have that, you know, whiz bang hook that grabs their attention. And it might be just something as simple as the lower rate. They might just go to the next guy because they have a quarter point lower rate. And you might think to yourself, they wouldn't do that. Well, here's news for you, friends. When they do do that, and I guarantee you they do, if you're not doing the things we're talking about today, they're not blowing the trumpet. They're not sounding the alarm when they go with your competitor. They just slip away inconspicuously. And you have no idea that this silent hemorrhage is happening. That's why we call it the silent hemorrhage. It's inconspicuous. It's like a ninja in slippers. You have no idea it's happening. But it is, and it's costing you tens of thousands, perhaps even hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. My job right now is to be your advocate, your champion, to smack you upside the head and say, wake up, get with the program. You can be doubling, tripling, quadrupling your income just by virtue of improving your marketing in your database without getting more realtors, without doing fancy funnels and fancy ads on Facebook, without doing anything else but getting better and more sophisticated and more adept at your database marketing. Doesn't that sound a whole lot more simple and elegant than trying to do all this fancy crap that's just bogging up your life and bogging up your mind with all this minutia and you're full of a bunch of half done projects instead of getting just a few powerfully profitable systems enacted and implemented in your database? We get paid on done, not begun, friends. So let's cut the clutter, cut the BS, cut all the nonsense and get straight to what works. Database marketing done right. And trigger campaigns are one of those examples. Now, there are lots of different types of trigger campaigns. Annual mortgage review, birthday call, uh, even a campaign before closing, like something after you get them approved. Why not send them something in the mail, right? That wows them. So in my program, in my Client Acceleration Formula program, we have a multitude of these trigger campaigns before closing and after closing, not just to your clients, but also to the realtors tied to the transactions. And so they're just plug and play, swipe and deploy, stick the key in the ignition and drive away. But the beautiful thing is because they're triggered by specific milestones, you're sending the right message at the right time to the right people using the right media the right delivery method. And that's the part that makes it work is having all those needles threaded with the right formula. The other thing you guys want to be thinking about as it relates to mining the gold from your database is long-term nurture campaigns. You can do trigger campaigns. You can ask for referrals the right way. And by the way, there are words that work to ask for referrals the right way. And if you don't know how to ask for the referral the right way, you're going to leave a ton of money on the table because just asking for referrals is not enough. You got to ask the right way. You probably noticed just saying, hey, a referral is the best and highest compliment you can ever give me. Or, hey, we do all our business by referral. If anyone comes to mind, please let us know. Don't keep us a secret. 
just saying stuff like that doesn't work. You probably notice that because it goes in one ear out the other and they have the best of intentions to send you a referral and they never do. Have you noticed? So that's why you need to know the words that work on how to ask for referrals. That's another thing that we teach in our client acceleration formula is those specific words that can literally 3x, 5x, 10x your referrals, get you more referrals in one month than you used to get in an entire 12-month period just by virtue of knowing when to ask, how to ask, and how to do it right so that it opens up and activates their mental Rolodex and gets them sending you more referrals than ever before. You're going to be thinking, it's like, what the heck happened, Dorn? Before, it was like pulling teeth getting referrals. Now, it's like I'm under a faucet that's just, just gotten turned on full blast. Before, it felt like I was in a dark room. Now, it feels like someone just flipped on the switch with a thousand watt light bulb. And I'm just absolutely getting lit up like a freaking Christmas tree here over, over here, Doran. What happened? I'll tell you what happened. You learn how to ask for referrals the right way. The other way to do it uh, beyond asking for referrals and doing these trigger cam campaigns is we want to cultivate long-term the connection, the relationship, to build top-of-mind awareness, to have meaningful touches on an ongoing basis so that when they think mortgage, boom, you're the only logical choice, right? You want to set it up so that when they think mortgage, you literally become the only logical choice. And that means cultivating the relationship. Imagine if you only talk to a friend once a year. How tight, how connected, how intimate, how influential is that relationship? Not very influential, not that intimate, is it? Why? Because you're not staying in touch enough. Now, how about on the flip side, those that you stay in touch with once a week? How connected are those relationships? How deep and intimate are those relationships? Chances are those are your tightest, most meaningful, most life-giving, most fulfilling relationships in your life. True? A big part of that is because you're staying in touch and you're staying in touch regularly and consistently and meaningfully. You want to do the same thing with your clients, with the same thing with your prospects, the same thing with your realtors. So you need to have long-term nurture campaigns, not cookie cutter crap from your company that's snoring boring, that slips into, into a coma in a nanosecond, but real quality, classy, kick-ass content where you can stay in touch, where you can engage, where you can add value, where you can inspire and educate. If you're not doing that, you're leaving a ton of money on the table and you have an active hemorrhage of people who could be working with you, but they're working with your competitors instead because they got swooned, they got uh, enticed, they got uh, tantalized into the bright, shiny object working with someone else because they had a quarter point of a rate less or because they had some whiz-bang offer, whatever the case is. And you could have been the person to provide that extraordinary service, to be that leader, to take them by the hand and lead them to the promised land. But instead, they have to settle for a second hand, second best, substandard solution that wasn't nearly as heart connected to mission and purpose and excellence and true value like you would have brought. It's not nearly as connected to a personal, first class, world class experience of excellence that you would have provided. They're treated like a number most of the time, just on a mortgage conveyor belt, but they have to settle for that because they don't know anything better because you didn't have these systems in place to capture this business. And by virtue of that, you're on the sidelines watching your competitors eat you for lunch, breakfast, and dinner. But Dorn, I'm doing a lot of business right now. I'm doing more business than I ever have before. Yes, and you have no idea how many tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars you leave it on the table, inconspicuously, unwittingly, because you don't have these systems in place. If you did, it would make you freaking sick to your stomach. I promise you that. That is the positive perturbance you need right now. I'm trying to stir you up into action, friend, because I know that that client is better off with you than without you. I know that that money is better in your pocket than on the table to your competitors. I know that good people do good things with money. And if we can get you making 10x what you're making now, or even two or three x what you're making now, just think the good you could do in the world, the causes you could give to, the people you could help, the legacy you could create for your family and your kids. Good people do good things with money. 
And if you're good people, which chances are you are, if you're watching this or listening to this podcast, you have a moral obligation, a duty to do all in your power to make the impact you're called to make, to serve the clients you're called to serve, to reach those who would rather not settle for a cookie cutter crap experience and to have someone who truly cares in their corner to serve them to the biggest investment chances are they'll ever make in their life with the purchase of their home. So let's make this not just a luxury you get around to it when you feel like it. Let's make this something you commit to. Let's make this a front burner priority, shall we? So that long-term nurture can happen in a lot of different ways. It can happen by sending out email. It can, but not just any email, the right email. Ideally, email linked to videos, not just you know cookie cutter crap from your company. And not just a big show up and throw up data dump with a direct mail or a rather a PDF or HTML newsletter. That's just too much data to consume in an email environment. So make those emails little tidbits, little morsels that are easy to consume. Okay. If you're going to send direct mail, let's send it by direct mail. What are you talking about, Dorn? What are you talking about, Willis? Right? <laughs> you telling me that direct mail actually works? Who does that anymore? That's from the dark ages. Yes, exactly. That's why you want to do it. Because if you want to be the top dog, you got to be zigging while everyone else is zagging. If you do conventional methods, you're going to get conventional results. Conventional thinking produces conventional results. So if you do a direct mail newsletter the right way, the way we teach and the way we provide inside of our done for you newsletter service, you're going to be zigging while everyone else is zagging. You're going to be engaging them. You're going to have that coffee table effect where it sits on their coffee table or in their john or in their loo or what do you want to call the bathroom. It sits around in their house. It gets their attention. Email is so easy to ignore, right? So easy to ignore. We get avalanches of email every day. Direct mail is a lot harder to ignore, right? So if you use direct mail the right way, the way we get our clients to operate, you're going to get your clients chomping at the bit, responding to you, engaging with you, reading your newsletter, loving your newsletter, and you're going to cultivate that relationship and build that top of mind awareness, that super glue connection. So when they think mortgage, boom, you're the only logical choice. I sprained my thumb earlier this year skiing, so that was a pretty weak, lame, lackluster snap. Let's see if we can try it again. Boom. They become your only logical choice, right? So that's long-term nurture. Email, make it small, little, bite-sized morsels. Direct mail, send a well-crafted newsletter. Look, make it look homespun like you've done it yourself. And then on top of that, you want to do social media. Layer the social media on top with quality content on a daily basis to your different social media channels. But you don't want to be doing all this stuff yourself. And that's why you want to delegate this stuff out to top talent. So you can do what you do best and get the best to do all the rest. It's called operation delegation. That's how you create freedom. That's how you create a business that sets you free. Not being enslaved to the office ball and chain, being the chief cook and bottle washer, wearing all the hats, doing everything yourself. That's called a J-O-B, just over broke with an office ball and chain around your ankle. That's not the freedom you signed up for, chances are, when you got into the mortgage business, correct? So you need to automate, delegate, and systematize this stuff. Get it off your shoulders and off your hands. And that's why people come to us to literally delegate all this out to true professionals, experts who've been in this game for over one and a half decades, who can just do it for them better than they could do on their own and to do it consistently. That's the key. Building that top of mind awareness creates is requiring consistency in kick-ass content being delivered weekly, monthly, and so on. And that's the last note I wanted to share today is that you want to get out of your own way. Stop being your own bottleneck in your business. Stop getting in your own way of growth and expansion and delegate your weaknesses, delegate the minutia, delegate the stuff you hate doing. Delegate your lame freaking excuses that stop you. Dorn, I don't know how to do it. That's why you delegate it. Dorn, I don't like to do it. That's why you delegate it. Dorn, I don't like that techie crap. That's why you delegate it. Dorn, I don't know how to do the social media stuff. That's why you delegate it. 
Dorn, I don't know how to do all this content. I don't know what content to send. That's why you delegate it. Dorn, I don't know how to do all this techie zip, zap, zip, and all this, all this crazy propeller head stuff that these people do. That's why you delegate it, right? So you have other people who are unique where you are weak. And by virtue of that hand glove relationship where you are weak, they are unique. Now you're liberated to dance in your strengths, to do what you do best, get the best to do all the rest, to be operating in your zone of genius all day, every day to be working in your superpower, your domain of superpower. Doesn't that make life so much more fun when you just do the stuff you love doing? Your superpowers, your strengths, dancing in your strengths, and then you have a team of rock stars that are dancing in their respective strengths, and their job is to liberate you to dance in your strengths. And having that teamwork is what makes the dream work. It sounds cliche, but it's true. So you want to hire a marketing administrator. That's another reason why people reach out to us for help is because they don't know how to do that. There's lots of different ways to do it. You can go to Upwork. You can go on various different websites that have virtual assistant platforms where you can hire people. There's a lot of different ways to get these people. There's also a lot of different ways to get the wrong people. So that is yet another reason why clients come to us for help. They don't want to mess around trying to thread the needle on the right hire. They just know they need to find someone to delegate this crap. Because if you think about it, if you want to make $100,000 a year, if you do the math on that, your time needs to be worth at least 50 bucks an hour. If you want to make a million bucks a year, your time needs to be worth half a million or rather $500 per hour. And if you're messing around doing minutia and tasks that are administrative, mind-numbing, mundane minutia that you could delegate for 15 to 20 bucks an hour, for even five to 10 bucks an hour, your income will drop accordingly. And so will your fulfillment level. So will your juice in your battery. Because have you noticed that when you do the minutia, it drains you. If you're anything like me, just thinking about it gives me a, a thumper. Just thinking about it drains me, let alone doing it. So that's why it behooves you as a leader of your own enterprise, as a leader of your own business, to just identify your superpower strengths and focus on those all day, every day, and delegate all the rest of the minutia. And so that's why it's so important to always start with a marketing administrator, because a marketing admin person, a virtual assistant, you can get one for as little as five bucks an hour out of the Philippines, believe it or not. And they'll allow you to break free from you being your own bottleneck. They'll allow you to actually have more time to do the things you love doing. They'll allow you to get more marketing out of the door so you can get more clients in the door. And now you're doubling, tripling, quadrupling your income while working the same or less hours. That's what I call working smart, not just working hard. Agreed? So that being said, if you guys have been listening to this and you're picking up what I'm putting down, you're like, Dorn, I feel you, man. I totally get it. This is exactly what I need to hear. That's the slap upside the head I needed to wake up to realize that I need to treat this as a mission critical priority in my business. I can no longer afford to neglect. I can no longer afford to procrastinate. I can no longer afford to just be asleep at the wheel and be focusing on hunting, hunting, hunting without harvesting my true and greatest asset in my business, which is my database. If you're listening to this, you're like, Dorn, I've known I need to do this for a long time. But frankly, I don't know where to start. It's overwhelming. There's just too many choices, too many options. This is not my forte. I'm great at doing loans. I'm great at serving clients. I'm great at delivering an excellent experience for my client. I'm great at delivering what I promise when it comes to operations and getting the mortgage done. But frankly, the marketing thing, not my strength. I can do it, but it's not my love. I can do it, but it's not my forte. I can do it, but frankly, it's a grind. And I don't know where to start. And if that's you, and you know that you're capable of making two, three, four, five X what you're making now. And you've got a heart's desire to spread your wings and soar. You know that you're just scratching the surface of the surface of what you're capable of. And you're ready to step up to that next level. And you want to make at least an extra $100,000 in annual income in the next 12 months, working smarter, not harder. And you have a compensation plan such that you are at 80 basis points or higher compensation. 
and you're a residential mortgage professional and you're ready to start kicking ass, taking names, chewing bubble gum, crushing it, and taking things to a whole other level, I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call where we lift up the hood on your business and we look at what's working right now in your business. What's not working right now in your business? Where are you now? Where do you want to be? And if we can help you bridge that gap and create that breakthrough, by all means, we will show you how. And if not, frankly, we'll be the very first people to advise you to pass on our services, perhaps recommend something else or someone else. Either way, one thing I know for certain, I can absolutely guarantee you, you'll leave that call with more clarity than you've ever had about your business in your entire career, bar freaking none. More clarity on what it really takes to create that breakthrough in your business. So if you'd like to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call with either myself or one of my consultants, I invite you to do that by going to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Remember, it's complimentary, no strings attached. It's our gift to you, no strings attached. So no fee required whatsoever. It's just a conversation. It's a conversation about where you are and where you want to be and what it's going to take to truly get you to that next level and to get you into your dream. So if you're game for that and you want to have a real talk, honest conversation that induces more clarity in your life and your business than you've ever had before, then book a call. Let's chat. MortgageMarketingCoach.com forward slash apply. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging with me. I trust you got value from this conversation. Your most valuable asset is and always will be your database. Treat it as an absolute necessity to mine it. Not a luxury not a hope or a wish when you get around to it, an absolute necessity and priority starting today. Let's rock this, guys. Let's take your business to a whole other level. Let's step you into abundance like never before. And let's get you making more money in one month than you used to make in three months while having way more fun, having way more passion for life, and having way more juice for the things that matter most to you in your life. God, family, health, wealth, all that, the whole enchilada, not having survival mode, but stepping you from survival to thrival, from surviving to thriving. That's my heart for you, my friends. So go forth, take massive action. Let's get some massive results. This is Doran Aldana from MortgageMarketingCoach.com coming at you with the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. Be blessed. We'll talk to you again soon. Peace. Peace.